Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I'm in here working in the kitchen, doing a little bit of food, food uh, preservation. I am canning potatoes today. So if you saw the Wednesday episode, the vlog that went up prior to this one going live, I indicated that I had been keeping a really big secret from all of you. And I have. It, it's been several weeks in the process. This great big project that I've been working on. Well, yesterday the project was completed and Mr. Smith was so excited he didn't even change out of his holy pajamas. <laughs> and so, without further ado, the big reveal. Put this stuff in there. You make sure that that stays plumb there. <laughs> Big day. I am on my way to go pick up 
something special. So a while back, I had shared on Instagram where I had gone to visit uh, a friend of mine at her homestead and I shared some pictures of goats. And what I didn't tell you was at that time we had already determined that the three musketeers here were going to be coming to live here at a Good Life Farm. And I have wanted to tell you guys for so long and it was really difficult to not let you in on the secret. But I decided it would make a great surprise. Hi, baby. So my friend who these sweet goats came from, uh, she actually said that we could change their names that it wouldn't bother them. But you know, I think we'll just keep them. So we have Fran, the nanny goat. <laughs> We've got the white one over there, the ginger is Chan. And we have Jesse, who is actually Fran's brother, but Jesse, and Chan are weathers, which means they are fixed. They are more for being companions to other goats uh, because goats really need to be in a herd, not, not all alone. And so they're weathers, they're not breeding stock, but Fran, of course, is breeding stock. And down the road, we do plan on adding to our little herd here, and we do actually plan on breeding. So, um, we're very excited. We have always wanted to have goats there for a little bit. We thought, you know, maybe we won't get them, but I'm glad we went ahead and decided that, yeah, we do want to get goats. And for the time being, they have this great big yard that we built, and I've had to be so careful when I've been planning or when I've been filming the garden tours, which my big garden is right there. There has been many times where I had to cut out footage and not share something because I accidentally showed you this in the background and I didn't want to reveal it. Not yet. And so now that you all know the big surprise, um, I don't have to be so careful and I don't have to cut a bunch of footage from my videos. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I had to do that. So yes, this has been the big project, the goat shelter, or the goat shed, uh, the fenced in area, and as I was saying, they have this great big fenced in area that we created for them, the goat yard, but I do plan on creating other areas for them to graze in so that they won't always be in this area. 
and I actually stopped mowing a good bit of it um, a few weeks ago so that it could get grown up and, and brushy because goats tend to prefer browse over grasses. Um, and so we will be doing other areas, uh, extra enclosures. I'll probably mostly use electric fencing for the grazing areas because we will move them around and um, yeah, so it'll be movable. <laughs> Hi, Chan. How you doing, buddy? Hmm? Hey. How are you? Hey, Jesse. <laughs> So this is the setup that we have for the goats. The goat shed is 16 by 8 approximately and we've got a hay feeder in here that's actually set up from an old metal basket that I got years ago. I was trying to decide how I wanted to um, do their hay and I realized that I had this. I thought that would work out perfect and because I know that goats have a tendency to climb on things I went ahead and I put some cinder blocks underneath there so if they jump up onto the hay which they have uh, it wouldn't put too much stress on the brackets where it's screwed to the wall got a feed trough got their feed out here um, because I don't want to have to necessarily carry feed all the way out from the barn and so we just put a cinder block on there to uh, keep the goats from knocking the lids off uh, we'll probably figure out a different little system for that later on and I actually have bigger cans um, that I'll be using later we have one of their water buckets is right here and these flat sided buckets are actually made to hang against a barn wall or shed wall or stall wall what have you and then these little brackets are made to keep it from getting knocked over hi franny <laughs> all right so we put in a couple of platforms because goats do like to sleep up on things when they're given the opportunity to and so we made two platforms uh, and put some rubber mats on top because they will be easy to clean off. We can just spray them down um, and it'll make it for a easily cleaned surface. <laughs> Got their mineral block down here. Which they love. Which they've been nibbling on repeatedly. And then out here in the goat yard this is actually their spool that the family who had the goats uh, gave to me because they didn't really have a need for it and so we put this out here for them to, to jump up on and then over on this side right now i've just got this little setup with the cinder blocks which they do seem to love and then we've got another water bucket around on the other side that way they can <laughs> um, have access to water readily, especially since it's so hot. And we intentionally let this area grow up for the goats and the cats 
have been coming through the gate. Uh huh. And they follow us in here and they were running around inside there just now. I don't know if you saw that in the background. Somebody, oh. There we go. There's a Nevzy. <laughs> what you doing, Nevzy? <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Hmm. So Stumper and Nubs were staring at the goats when we first brought them uh, here to the homestead. But they are not at all afraid of them. And the goats don't care either because the goats are used to other animals being around. <laughs> New stinker. What you doing? <laughs> but Mr. Smith is very happy. <laughs> so this was our big surprise and I have been dying to let y'all in on it and I thought I thought you might uh, <laughs> I thought you might enjoy it as well. Now, I don't think I've mentioned they are Nigerian dwarf goats, so they are full grown. This is as big as they're going to get. And uh, they're adorable. So we have added three new residents to the homestead.